You want me to kill you? Being a prisoner on this backwater planet is a dishonor. I would rather die than- Maybe you should. That's payment for all the lives you've taken. Didn't you come to Earth to kill a child? Starfire? He was she did it. Things were different then. You hurt people. You deserve to be in here. Thank you. I knew you'd say that. Then I bet that so-called mercy kill was easy for you. There it is. No, 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 no. You need to do something or she's going to blow up Blackfire. Don't worry. Alright, so this is gonna be a straight up fist fight then. Yeah. Oof. Just a typical sibling greeting. I yeah, basically. This is the same as Black Widow and Yelena. Huh? The same as Black Widow and Yelena. Yes. Jeez. Look, man, y'all need to work this issue out. They're always fighting. Always fighting. All the two of them always fighting. Justice run its course. Mm, I have a feeling she's gonna get out. You know, just a smidgen of a feeling. Ouch. But there's a lot of truth to that, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's chopping wood. Right? It hurts people that you care about. Like Hawk. Not scared for trying to make sense, though. Yeah, I know. It's like. It always has been. Like, yeah, but like, stop. <laughs> Is there something on your mind? Oh my god, don't play psychologist yeah, now. Like we're not doing that. I had no idea what was out there. Damn, Bruce. Sheesh. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Hey, bruh. Bro, hey, bruh. Jeez. Mean. You gotta do what you gotta do. Well, yeah, she's chasing you. Yeah. The wolf should have been afraid of me. Oof. Dang. Company's coming. God, I hope he doesn't go back to his dark days, though. Yeah. Dark Robin days. <laughs> oh, please don't. What a privilege it's been to have you here, Starfire. <laughs> and, and rest assured that your sister will stay here until she is no longer a threat to Tamarin or to Earth. And the world will be safe from her. Oh, it's kind of messed up. Or you can try to find a way to send her. I think you send her back. She needs to come back. Yeah. Okay. They're gonna break her out. Through. Trust me, they're not gonna leave her. This is kind of inhumane. And the traffic camera clocked the Maserati here. She knows exactly where it is. Yep. Yeah, she knows exactly where it is. She's been there too. What? Yeah, she's going back. <laughs> Much as you despise your sister. Yeah. You cannot take her. She is our sole detainee. Put a vacancy sign out front on your feet. Let's go. <laughs> the right to right. Mm. Do you not catch them? What? Put a vacancy sure. sign. Ladies. <laughs> Get out of my way. Or I'm going to burn your dick off. Damn. She would. There's a strong chance that your firebolts aren't at full power yet. She don't Do need it. Find out. I mean, <laughs> they just kind of broke the They just broke a law, though. Federal law. Dr. Kine. Okay. You couldn't have just climbed back up? Could have. Get in. Company soon. Look, she broke you out, so yeah. she could have left you there. But knowing her, she's gonna try to find somebody Your to get out. Is filthy. <laughs> hey, y'all gotta have fun. Especially since you don't even know where you are. Yeah, right? Drive out and we'll figure it out. Literally the only way. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, we got the double, we got the dual pistols. <laughs> okay, that was. <laughs> oh, that was good. Back, baby. <laughs> uh, watch him try to leave. Yep. Yeah. 
Trust me. You are prepared, bro. <laughs> Jeez. Dick had like 76 plants in place. Everything you do or ever did is because of him. He's just like a grumpy teenager. Oof. Dang. Should have seen that one. Ouch. Uh. Well, that's good timing. Ooh. Six billion dollar budget, and we still can't get a clear signal. No. Nope. Nine o'clock. Cleared. Oh. Did you hit the target? No. Oh no. Ow. Come on. <sighs> Of course. Of course it was on deck. Dag Nabbert. Of course. Why wouldn't it be? Where did he get hit in his arm? Okay. All right. He can survive that. No, he can survive. Oh, shoot. Oh, boy. I we weren't going to get the shot off him. There was no way. I really hate and envy all of the other press people that have the episodes early. <laughs> I know, like you keep watching right now. Oh, uh, man, dude. I'm so mad, man. Yeah. Maybe by season four, I have my own, my own, my own press access. Man. I'm going to get my own. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where's it going? What do you have to say? It, this is... It's heating up, heating up. Like, I feel like this season is giving me way more hope than last season it's like it's actually like more concise i feel and it feels like one big storyline besides yeah. like you know a little kind of side mission type of thing mm -hmm. so i don't know i really enjoyed this episode um and you know jason is just being jason and he's being his annoying little behind but <laughs> um no i really enjoyed it i i i knew that they were not going to hit Jason though. Yeah, I had a feeling it was been no too way. good to be true. There was no way. It was way too good to be as true. As soon as they hear a helicopter, they're it's not gonna happen. Yeah. I think it was way good to, way too good to be true. Yeah. To be honest. And the whole stuff with Blackfire and, and I, this it's gonna be crazy. That was really good, I think. I actually really do like that. I wanna see how her like her role is gonna like be in all of this, like how yeah. that's gonna affect everything and how you know like it's obviously she, i feel like she's gonna turn on her so, of obviously. course so, yeah. but um and then i wonder how donna's gonna play into it yes that's i don't know how she's gonna come in lazarus pit stuff yeah all that stuff so. yeah then i miss rachel i do <laughs> it feels like empty without everybody there yeah and then dawn's gone but yeah I did like the tone of the episode. I love how they're doing Red Hood. Like, I love how they're doing the whole storyline. Man, it's evil as Jack. Yeah, and like unapologetically so. Yeah. So, I mean, even if they do a redemption arc, it's going to be sort of like some type of Negan vibes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And he's never going to be the same. No, nah, it's not going to be the same. It's not going to be the same. But obviously, we have confirmation that Scarecrow was working with them and yeah. that he was a big influence in the way that he's doing things. So, yeah. But um, I know I really liked this episode. It was great. It was entertaining. Let's see what happens. Yeah. In the next one, it was cool seeing that little cabin and getting a little extra backstory with Dick and the whole wolf thing. Um, that was really interesting. Uh, I feel like Dick is really kind of coming into his own finally. Yeah. You know, yeah. it started like last season, like at the very end with like the whole suit and all that. Yes. Yeah. Like acrobatics, but mm -hmm. I feel like he's really starting to like find out who he really is. Yeah, and you know, like even like his fighting is like different, and it's just his whole his whole approach is yeah. different. Yeah, like he's still kind of in touch with like the darker stuff because that's just like what he knows. Yeah, but as a whole, he's growing as a person, as a hero. You know, just everything. Yeah, so. I agree. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know if you have anything else you want to say. Um, I I I could go on and on about this, but yeah. I just looking at the time. Yeah, I just feel have. bad for poor Gar. I do feel bad for Gar. He's just getting roped into everything. He's getting beat on. Yeah. Like, give the man some like good stuff here. Maybe they hinted at it. They hinted at it where, where he was kind of salty about being like um, 
salty about being in the shadow of Superboy mm -hmm. and like, oh, nothing beats a super. Yeah. And, you know, him transforming to different animals. It's not that easy. So I feel like they're going to have him find, start to become who he's supposed to be. Right. A little too, a little too late for me, but, like... Yeah, like, this is the uh, third season, like... I don't know how many they're planning, so I can't really say. Yeah, but I feel like uh, it should have at least... Like, he transformed into a snake once. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. Like, you're not even gonna, like, have him try to transform into other animals. Yeah. An eagle, man, like, some... Like, at this point, I feel like that should have been at least... At least one other time of him trying to. Yeah. So it'll be good for spying to like turn into like an eagle, yeah. have a bird's eye view or something. Eagle, like anything. Falcon. Literally anything. You know what I'm saying? A sparrow. Because you know, a tiger isn't that discreet. No, it's really not. <laughs> <laughs> and I think there are more powerful animals that you can choose. Yeah. Tigers are good and they're powerful and they're agile and they're fast and yeah. They're, you know, like it wor it's worked for him for now. Yeah. But you know. But like gorillas. Yeah. <laughs> like gorillas, orangutan. Something. Something, just you know what I'm saying? Like, really here. strong animals. Elephants, bro. Like, just yeah. have run through a building. <laughs> like. And then I just feel bad for poor Connor, too. Yeah. Like, he feels like he is living in the shadow. And he feels, you know, calling himself half-breed and all these yeah. like, really mean things. But, I mean, if you think about it, what what better to have than the smarts from Lex Luthor? Yeah. And everything for with Superman, like... But it's, like, constantly fighting that evilness that Lex has as well. It is. Because the smarts helped him build the tool that he needed mm -hmm. to help, you know, to help Hank, and he was able to successfully do it with the speed of, you know, Superman and all that. But it's also the emotional instability yeah. of Lex Luthor is his biggest thing. But then again, he also has, like, a good support system. That's true. So he has, like, a good influence. Like, Gar was really, like helping him out there like that's like his best friend right there yeah so you know gar's not evil yeah. so i feel like it'll be a little easier for connor to be like good just because he does have that influence yeah. and that like you know fighting for a good cause and support system too but it's gonna be tough for him yeah because he has to constantly fight not only other people but himself yeah in the mix no i think so. he'll he might have his moments yeah and especially if they start focusing on him a little bit later on yeah exactly that you know it'll show like the internal struggle and all that yeah but um i think for now they'll probably just kind of like push him along a bit yeah i mean that's the thing you'll see with young justice too is well when you ever start watching it more you'll get more of that like internal conflict yeah. You'll see more. I don't want to get too much into it. You'll, right, see, right. you'll see a lot of that. Um, but yeah, no, yeah so we'll wrap it up here. Uh, yeah. Make sure you guys go check out Matthew's channel. Part one is over there. So I think we'll be in the description for that. But um, yeah, make sure you guys like, subscribe, you like what you see, and comment down below what your favorite part of the episode was. And make sure to hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I post. And if you want to see the full reaction, make sure to head on over to Patreon. Link will be in the description below. But yeah, guys, that's it for us. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.